The superintendent of the Brexville Broadview Heights School District is praising an anonymous tip app for alerting officials of a potential threat. The district says a student was taken into custody Wednesday morning after the threat, including, quote, a list of student names, was released. Three News investigator Marissa Sines tells us more about how that app led to swift action. The list of schools and violence grows in Northeast Ohio. Another incident of school safety, this time in the Brexville Broadview Heights School District. There was a picture of a list of student names on it um, that, came, that was sent to her child, and we became very concerned about that list. The district says a tip came in late Tuesday night. A parent reported the suspicion using the Stop It app. It's a program that the district adopted three years ago. That allowed the district to investigate overnight, diffusing any potential threat before school on Wednesday. We have great administrators who were trying to recognize hands and the watch that the, the student was wearing in the picture. The next morning, we were able to identify who that student was right away before they came into the building and were able to get them into the office to question. Superintendent Joelle Magyar says the app was a launching point to safety success. We had a process. We knew exactly what we needed to do, how we needed to handle this situation. This incident marking the third in a Northeast Ohio school district since Sunday. Bedford City Schools closing down for days after a 14-year-old freshman made two threats to the high school Sunday and Monday. In Akron, a seventh grader arrested Monday for bringing a loaded gun to Litchfield Community Learning Center, sending two schools on lockdown. Every threat needs to be treated seriously, investigated thoroughly. Now back at the Brexville Broadview Heights District, that student was taken into custody for further questioning and will also face district consequences. The district also wants to remind parents there are school resource officers on every campus as well as more police officers present at both the start and end of each school day. Russ. Okay, Marissa Sines in the newsroom. Thank you.